Thanks to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. More on them later. At my old house, one thing that Jenny and I loved was this shed that we had converted. We finished it on the inside. It was my studio for a while. Some of you guys may remember that that's where I started this channel was back there. And now at our new house, we kind of have a lack of that. We do have more space inside, but we don't have a space that is detached from the house. So we're embarking on a new project here to build a pool house here next to the pool. I'll show it to you in a second. And we're gonna make it entirely off grid and finished on the inside. Right now it's gonna be Jenny's photography studio so she can do her artwork there and sell her prints and all that. And then later I'm guessing the kids are gonna turn it into a video game room. Here, let me show you what we got going on. Okay, so here's the patio area and it's kind of winterized right now. It's gonna be looking a lot better here pretty soon. And over here I've got the plunge, we've finished all the landscaping and all that. And then here we have where the pool house is going to go. So this area here, from those rocks over there by that landscape light all the way over to this piece of concrete here, this patio that we poured is going to be a house and it's gonna be about 12 by 14 feet. We'll have a big sliding glass door here, one window on the side and it'll be all hooked up. And the cool thing is that it's gonna be entirely off grid. So it's not gonna be powered. We do have electricity here if we had to run it, but I wanted to do this as an experiment because sometimes running electricity and stuff can be very expensive. So I wanted to sort of break it down and see how cheaply can I do this. So we're gonna move these rocks here over to the little rock wall over there. That'll be sort of like a path behind it. And then right here, it's just gonna come up and it'll be kind of right where this big tree and that big rock is. And so for summer, this is gonna be the best thing. We're gonna have just a nice place to cool off and relax out here while everyone's playing and having fun and all that. And if you haven't seen our house and know the setup that Jenny did with her design, check out the channel link down below and you can go check out some of those older videos. And now I wanna go see what she's up to because she's actually been designing this for a few weeks already. Honey, how's the design going? It's going pretty good. Um, I'm at a good place that we can see what it's gonna look like. It's a lean-to, so it has a shorter wall and then a taller wall. Um, I've been playing around with SketchUp and I've been pretty happy. One of the main reasons I wanted to be able to do this is light is really important to me. And so I wanted to know where to place the windows based on the time of day we could get lighting. So this was one of the main reasons I was like, I need to figure out SketchUp just for this mere reason of being able to see like this window I moved around a couple times we have people on the back, like our neighbor's here and our neighbor is here. So I knew I wanted a window on this side, but I wasn't sure if I should wait it over to the left or right or in the middle. And then same with the slider doors. So that was really awesome. And then now my kind of struggle is I'm trying to, it's going in a place next to another patio. And this is a concrete pad that needs to obviously be poured for this. And I'm just curious how it will all look when we like the final outcome, how will it relate to the patio? And then we have plans that eventually we want to put a pergola into it. So anyways, I just kind of got stuck and I couldn't, I, my skills were not quite there yet with how to continue to make it look more realistic and what it would kind of look like with the rest of our, our space. So Fiverr reached out and we actually worked with Fiverr to find somebody that could render it into a more realistic look and really quickly put a pergola onto it. Okay, so we have a fiber design, right? Yeah. Let's see so what they got. So I just got the first initial one back from our person. It was super easy to work with. I contacted the person just based on like reviews and everything, and I saw their portfolio that they had done realistic renderings. That's personally what I wanted, but there was people on here even as early as the design stage. Like if you needed designing with landscaping, designing a small studio shed, and then there was tiers of like pricing from that. So I was looking for photorealistic renderings and this was just an initial, you can see like I haven't accepted yet. And we're gonna do one more, or we're gonna do a revision, which is kind of nice that you can go back just because I originally had planned that this would actually attach to the structure. So, but I'm so happy with it. It really helps you see a big difference between what it would actually, again, this is not what it's gonna look like until we get um, a not watermarked version, but I love how 
you can really see the connection with the rest of the yard, with the plants, and then with what we already have there, which is our patio. We have this little half hit and miss wall and the pergola versus, again, I'm very, very <laughs> happy with my SketchUp skills I've been able to accomplish over the last like six months or so, but um, this took me hours to make and if you don't have that time or interest in doing that, it's just so cool that you can find people that will kind of share their skills with you and there's all different levels you can hire people for on that. So yeah, shout out to Fiverr for helping us out in this project. And what is this? Is this the original design? No, this is the revision. So I just, I'm sending him a revision right now about doing the post without posts attached to the studio shed. But I'm also gonna set it back six inches because we just learned that our patio that we have out there is graded towards the pool to let water run off. So what that means is if I did it as close and flush as I wanted, what we would run into is about a three inch variable of height. So it would look really kind of wonky. The studio shed I think would look uneven, even though the shed would be flat, the patio would be grading away and because they're right next to each other. So just giving a little bit of space between there will visually hopefully not highlight that there's such a, um, such a, like a gradient down. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, honey. I'm looking forward to it. Did I answer all your questions? You answered all my questions. Okay.